In a world of hyper-engaging short-form videos, a man with 500 million views and 5 million subscribers stands out. This is Ali Abdal. Ali's style has been taking over the internet by storm. The success of this style comes down to a minimalistic 3D appearance, where the background is separated from the character and the use of minimalistic paper animations is common. This ends up with a very minimalistic editing style that has racked him up millions of views. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to edit like Ali Abdal, step by step. And with that in mind, I immediately got to work. The first step of doing this style is actually separating our character from the background. Basically, Ali likes to put animations between him and the background. And it really sells the 3D look. So to do this, we'll go into After Effects, drag our new short into After Effects. Then we'll double click on our video, click on the Roto Brush tool in the top left. Then I'm going to draw a line outlining my character and go in and detail it. Once we have a good outline, we'll press space and let After Effects do its thing. Once it's finished, we can click Ctrl M and export our video. And once we've done that, we'll end up with a version of our video that doesn't have the background. Now. We'll move back to Premiere Pro. First, I want to drag in my short which I've recorded. Then, I'd like to drag in the version of it which doesn't have the background. I'll put them both on the timeline, then sync them up using the audio waves at the bottom. Now our short will look like this, but in reality, it's two separate layers, one that's the full video and one that's just the outline. Now, let's go ahead and create our cuts. All I have to do is go through my video, find my silence, make a cut after I stop speaking, make a cut before I start speaking, and select what's in between and delete it. And then I'll go through the rest of my video, removing any silences or bad takes. We'll end up with a clean cut timeline ready for our edit. But we're not done yet. You guys know how much I love J cuts, so let's go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, we can start editing our intro. More than anything else, the intro is the most important part in short form content. Because the intro is what decides whether the viewer watches the video or not. And that is why we need to hook the viewer. To do this, I'm gonna try and recreate this intro which Ali did. The first thing I'll do is push my character layer up a few layers. Then I drag in this black paper overlay and added a dust and scratch overlay on top of it. Then darkened it a tiny bit, nested it, and this is gonna be my background whenever I need it. So I'll put it under my character layer and to create this paper text animation, I'll click my pen tool to create a mask and add a few points off screen to try and manually animate this. I'll keyframe my mask path, then I'll move two frames forward and move these points as if the paper were tearing in. Then move another two frames and make the tear bigger. Then continue doing this until we end up with this. Then I'll drag in a transform tool, increase the shutter angle, and keyframe a small animation where I move to the bottom as the tear gets bigger. Since I'm talking about coffee, I'll drag in this 3D rotating coffee bean that I found, then place it where I want on the screen, and drag on a move from bottom animation. Then I'll open up my Premiere Composer plugin and drag in this title. Ali uses this typewriter effect, so I'm trying to go with the theme. I'll change the text to coffee, and change the color to an orange, and drop its opacity, and then change the font to a font called guanai. Then I'll place the text behind our coffee, I'll nest both sequences, add a glow through them and this is the first half of the intro. As for the second half, I'm gonna add the transform effect to my bean and keyframe it to move to the center of my screen. And for this section, I'll duplicate my text from before, add one up top and one at the bottom, then change one to focus and one to energy. And the idea here is to showcase what I'm saying using stock footage. So I drag in this clip of a guy stretching in the morning and move it to the top half under my text. Then add another clip of a man on a call, change the blending mode to screen and drop the opacity. I'll drag in this move from left on one of them and I'll drag in this move from right to the other. Once we've done that, we should end up with an intro that looks something like this. Coffee is an amazing drink that improves both energy and focus. But before we continue, you might feel like we're going a bit too fast. Well, the original course I made on this took seven different lessons to explain. You can find it on my online video editing community, along with my other courses, which cover the basics of Premiere Pro, advanced editing techniques, how to edit like Ali Abdal, and a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to edit my style. And if you don't use Premiere Pro, then this online community also includes courses on CapCut, After Effects, and DaVinci. We also host weekly group calls to answer your questions and review your edits, not to mention the free editing resources, the business course, the social media course, the Photoshop course. Look, I'll tell you exactly how this could help. My personal video editing masterclass takes you from a complete beginner to a master at editing in 40 lessons. And once you're an experienced editor, then you can submit your edits to the certification program, where if you pass the editing test, then we will personally hook you up with companies in need of editors like you. We're basically teaching you everything there is to know about video editing and making sure you get a job. At the end of the day, we want you to take zero risks and enjoy making money as a video editor. So if this sounds like a fair deal, then head on over to videoeditors.io slash Joseph or click the link down the description below and join my online video editing community for only $47 a month.
Okay, now back to the video. Now we move on to editing the rest of the video. The idea here is to just watch the video and figure out ways that I can show my words visually. We call this the show not tell mentality. And with Ali Abdal, he uses text and simple images to show what he's talking about. So let's go ahead and do that here. I'll first push my character layer up. And since I'm talking about caffeine, I'll drag in an image of the chemical compound caffeine. I'll then remove the background, add the glow to it, and place it somewhere behind me. Then I'll drag in the transform effect and keyframe it so that it pops up from behind my back like this. I'll then drag in my text, change it to caffeine, and put it somewhere next to the caffeine. I'll then add this glow to it, drag in this transform effect, and animate the text moving up from behind me like this. I'll then nest the whole sequence and add a rapid zoom out, and this is what we end up with. Coffee contains a substance called caffeine. As for my next segment, I decided to make it a complete animation without having any shots of it. So this is the segment we will be animating. Caffeine is a chemical that goes straight into your brain and energizes you. To do this, I first dragged on my background. I then copied my caffeine image with the glow, pasted it on top of the background. Then I copied the caffeine text that I created and pasted it on top of the background as well. And then I nested both of them. Then I added a transform effect and added keyframes for its original position and size. Then I moved forward and made it get smaller and then moved to the top. And as it it's moving upward, I'll go into Premiere Composer and add this arrow. I'll position it so that it pops up as the caffeine is moving upwards, and then I'll add a glow to it. And for the part where I mention it entering the brain, I added an image of a brain, I then nested it, added a glow to it, then I added a move from bottom animation to it. Okay, hold on with me for just a second, this is about to get a tiny bit more complex. Barbecue bacon burger. <laughs> I'll then go back to my caffeine image and duplicate the original keyframe of the position. Move forward a bit and then change it so that the caffeine goes into the brain. And here's the tricky part. I'll nest the brain and the caffeine animation and animate it moving to the center of the screen as the caffeine goes in. Lastly, I'll add in a text saying energized and this is what we finally end up with. Caffeine is a chemical that goes straight into your brain and energizes you. With that being said, we have finished up the animations for the video. Our last section here just needs some stock images. So I'll try to mimic this Ali Abdal style to keep the thing going. When I say you can drink this at work, I'll have an image of someone drinking at work and then mask out my coffee, then lower the saturation of the background. I'll add an image of someone drinking coffee while training and do the same thing when the coffee stands out. Then lastly, I'll have an image of someone drinking coffee when they're tired and also do the same thing so that the coffee stands out. And finally, to add that third transition that Ali uses, we'll add an adjustment layer, add a transform effect, zoom our clip in a little and start off at a position to the left. Then reposition it to the center. Then we'll add a Gaussian blur and keyframe it starting at a high amount like 40 then decreasing all the way to zero. Then we'll duplicate the adjustment layer to the other two images. And this is what we end up with. You can drink this at work or when training or whenever you feel tired. And for this last clip, we will go all out on the editing and do the most heavy, time-consuming editing that you've ever seen. We'll just drag on the zoom out. Now that that's done, let's bring everything to life using sound design. Now the idea is to take anything that's happening on the screen and try and add a sound effect to it to bring it to life. We're gonna go through this pretty quickly, so hang on tight. My first scene is a paper tear, so I'll add this paper tear sound effect. Next up, my coffee bean pops up, so we'll need a bassy whoosh sound effect for that. And once I add it in, I'll align the peak of the sound effect with the point at which the animation has the most blur. Then I'll need a whoosh for me moving downwards, and I'll add a deeper whoosh for that. As the text is coming out, we'll have this typing sound effect, and as I'm moving to the bottom, I'll have a whoosh sound effect for that. And as this stock footage is coming in, we'll add a whoosh sound effect for that, and another one for the second footage coming in. Then a typing sound effect for both texts popping up. Next, I'll add a whoosh for the caffeine popping up, and one for the text popping up. Now for the animated section, we'll need a lot of sound effects because there's a lot happening. First, our text and caffeine move into the screen. So we'll add a whoosh sound effect for that. As the arrow comes down, I'll have a whoosh sound effect, and one more for when the brain comes up. When the brain is on screen, I'll add this ding sound effect, then this cool ring sound effect when the text pops up. Our next section is the one with the image sequence. For this one, we will only need a camera shutter sound effect like this one. We'll be adding it to the blur transitions and here is what it looks like. Coffee is an amazing drink that improves both energy and focus. You see, coffee contains a substance called caffeine. Caffeine is a chemical that goes straight into your brain and energizes you. You can drink this at work or when training or whenever you feel tired. So don't forget to drink your coffee. With that finally out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the last step. If you notice, Ali's subtitles are actually very straightforward and simple. But before that, 
Let's create some automated subtitles in Premiere Pro. We'll go up to Windows, Text, and then click on Transcribe Sequence. Let your PC run for a bit, click on Create Captions from Transcript, and then set the maximum length to 23, the minimum duration to 2 seconds, and set this to single. We'll get these yellow subtitles, select one of them, and let's create the text style. Go up to Windows, Essential Graphics, and first change the size to something reasonable. Then change to your font of choice, center your text, and to create this style of text, you can see it's made up of black text and a rounded background. So add your background, increase the opacity, change the color to white, increase the size, and then increase the roundness. Save it as your text style and click on this little arrow. And finally, after an hour of editing, if you followed through those seven steps, this is what our final product will look like. And before we finish off, if you'd actually like to master this style, I've made a fully detailed course over on videoeditors.io on this style and many others. So go ahead and check it out, the link's in the description below. Coffee is an amazing drink that improves both energy and focus. You see, coffee contains a substance called caffeine. Caffeine is a chemical that goes straight into your brain and energizes. You can drink this at work or when training or whenever you feel tired. So don't forget to drink your coffee. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are always great. I'll keep coming out with bangers like this one. Hopefully not in a few months. So make sure you like and comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. You have yourself an amazing day and God bless each and every single one of you. Oh, and I also recommend that you watch this video. Well, whichever one. I mean, both of them are pretty cool, but this one right here, extra cool. I worked really hard on this one. Oh yeah, and this one took actually a